Hey guys, Mel Turkle with Kifaro. Uh, today I want to do a, just a short video on a configuration uh, with a Scout. Scout's a real popular lumbar pack for us and uh, some guys really throw the pockets on and you can't ever see the Scout. Uh, other guys just run a Scout clean, but this setup I've got here I think is pretty good setup for long day hikes or a quick overnight. Uh, as you can see here I've got two medium belt pouches on the belt. I'm running Two mini, two mini longs, one on each side and a mini long on the top lid, and then I'm running the lock and load number 11 across the back. Uh, the medium belt pauses work great. I can just reach right here, you know, access whatever I want, just monocular and pull out there. Same as over here, get these things real easy. Now, on the, the mini longs, you can run them with the zipper facing this way or the zipper facing that way. Uh, so I've got them both so you can see. Uh, some guys want to access a, a water bottle or an Nalgene from uh, having to pack on so you can do it with this. Here I've got an Nalgene in this mini long as you can see right here. I just come down, zip this up. There I've got my Nalgene right there. Put it right back in the pack, I mean in the pocket I'm sorry. And then zip it down, good to go. It makes it real easy to get to a water bottle if that's what you like. Uh, let me take the pack off now and uh, take the pack off and kind of show you the pockets, point them out to you here. Here we go. I don't want to apologize to, uh, you know, the, you got you fat, fashion conscious uh, <laughs> junkies because I ran out of Coyote Brown pockets so I had to put a couple foliage on here. But as you can see, personally I like all my zippers facing facing this way when I'm accessing things. So the mini long here that I've got where you can access the, the Nalgene, I'd have flipped it around myself so all the zippers are facing me. See, zipper is facing me here. I just click out here, lock and load number 11, it's lock and load on there, but the compression straps just keep everything even, even snug. But I can get right into that. Uh, I get into my mini long on the top right there. Same with the top lid. Top lid, I can just flip that open and get right into the pack here. Everything's facing, facing this way with the zippers. And personally, that's how I like it, you know, but you've always got that option to uh, run the mini longs with the zipper facing this way for easy access on the move. And then, like I said, just click these guys in right here. Everything's good to go. This, this is great because you can use the main bag of the Scout you can run a, a Wooby, a baby bag, and a Paratarp, say, for uh, uh, light overnight. And you can put, put a lot more than that in the main bag. And then you've got all these pockets to put your cooking gear, your fire starting gear, and any accessories, uh, extra camera, lens, or whatever, in uh, one of these pockets with belt pouches and all these guys. And, uh, you know, for, uh, for eating and stuff, too. So, anyhow, just wanted to show you this configuration, guys. This is, uh, as you can see, it's pretty low profile. It's not a, it's not a very uh, wide package uh, when you're looking at it this way. Uh, everything's kind of keeps the center of gravity close to your back with these pockets on the sides up here. And uh, lock over number 11 is not a huge pocket, so it carries really well. And uh, that's just a uh, configuration for today for the scout.